Hey guys, Dell here from Dell's Rigging and Crane Tips. A 2020 not so yeah yeah. A big welcome and thanks to all my subscribers, all right? You guys uh, give me the fuel to keep this thing going. And the whole thing about this Dell's Rigging and Crane Tips is to just get you new guys up to speed, you know? And get you new guys uh, more employable. So if you find yourself on casual for the last three years and you can't get a full time gig, you need to upskill. You you need to upskill, all right. You need to make yourself more valuable, all right. Now in the back scenes, I've been working on this chain training course, so uh, you can shorten chains to for whatever. Uh, first time every time and I'm giving techniques so I'm doing that in the background because it will be a really valuable course you'll be 90% better than the other riggers so give me some time lads to get that done other news man 2020 not so yeah yeah bushfires floods COVID-19 man so much conspiracies about that a good crane op loves a good conspiracy I won't share too many but maybe a few, but there's heaps of stuff going on in the world. Uh, Black Lives Matters. Look, everyone's got their own opinions, and I don't want to get political because I don't want to be pushed into a group against your group. I'm not part of a group. I'm not left wing, right wing. I'm in the middle somewhere, you know. I uh, look at facts and then base my opinions off that, but I'm going to give no opinions on that because... I don't want this to be a debate, but not a good year, but we've got to push through, guys, you know, our ancestors lived through wars, depressions, dollar a day, even less than that, they're just eating barks and grape, you know, bark off trees, so this is nothing we can get through, and while we're in a bit of a lull, and sorry to anyone who's lost their job or finding it hard, man, but... All you can do is uh, upskill yourself and make sure yourself is more employable. You know what I mean? That's what that's what it is. Upskill yourself, and that's what this is. So, brothers of the hook, crane tip fam. Here's another one. So today we're going to go over the bold line that's in the load chart. The bold line. All right. Let's have a look. Now, I'm going to make myself smaller and insignificant because I am smaller and insignificant. Now, I'm finding it hard to move myself. That's all right. Look, what I'm going to do is 2020. Not so yeah yeah. <laughs> but, so here we have a load chart, all right? Now we're using the eighty ton Tirano, all right? Just to make it easy, it's all on one page and the next page, all right? We don't want to get the two fifties or the three hundreds or anything like that. We just want to keep it simple. So eighty ton Tirano, we come down. Now here's the bold thick line. Right in the guts, right up the guts, the bold, thick line that people wonder what it's for. Now, everyone, just like the COVID-19, have got their conspiracies on it. They all hear it from old crane drivers telling them what it is, and then other people have what they think it is. It's all logic. But if you look at one of my old videos, it's called guessing, all right? That's when you just guess what it is. And I don't want to do that, all right? So, funnily enough, I've taken the time to look in the book, and even for me, because I was like, hold on, I'm guessing here. I think I know what it is, and it makes sense, but I've never actually read it. I've read it a few times, actually, but I thought I'd find it here for you guys, all right? So let's take a read, all right? So down here on the next line, 
we find it in here. Okay, this is the biggest I can make it to fit the screen. So let's have a look. Now, if you can see my cursor here, number two, operation number two, rated lifting capacities above the thick line, above the thick lines in the chart are based on crane strength, on crane strength, and those below the thick line on its stability. They are based on actual load radius increased by boom deflection. All right, so a few things to unpack there, all right? First of all, the last one. A few of my guys and listeners and watchers and viewers have asked, the crane doesn't pick up your radius increased by boom deflection. It does. Almost all cranes that I know of, they can pick up boom deflection. So if it goes down that little bit by the weight of the load, the crane actually picks it up. It knows that. All right. So that's the first thing. The second thing, above the thick line, the chart are based on crane strength and below on stability. All right. So that means that above, you're relying on the strength of the crane, the strength of the metal, the sheaves, everything involved. Yes, you can still tip it over, and we've seen it, but it's more on the strength of the crane. And below, it's stability. So there's so below the line, you're never going to snap the boom or bend the boom over or break a sheave or snap a winch block or snap a winch drum. It's always going to be you've going to tip over first because stability is the counterweight with the crane stabilizing it, and that's how it's lifting the load. All right. Now, to my understanding, So let's go back here, all right? So stability, that's the working components of the crane, all right? That's that the metal is strong enough, The me sorry, the strength of the crane I'm talking about, the metal and all the th components involved are strong enough in the strength of the crane to hold that load and lift it up. Yeah, you can still tip it over. And then stability below the line that's when you're tipping over before anything. So you've got to be very careful. You might have seen some of these Indian lifts and some other lifts, and you see they've got the end boom section out, and it's snapped over. And you think, okay, how does this help me, Darwin? Well, this helps you. If you're ever out back and you need to overlift to get out of that job, you need to overlift, put this into your perspective. If it's reliant on crane strength and you've got one single section out and you're going to overlift because you have to, don't overlift, but if you have to, just think of it this way, before anything goes, you're probably going to snap the boom instead of tipping over. You're not going to tip over before anything goes. You can't rely on the back outriggers coming up. So you think, oh, yeah, I'll just keep overlifting until the back outriggers come up, and then I'll know the back, and then that's enough. Because the boom could snap before that, because it's crane strength. Now, if you're under the line, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to tip over. So that's when you can rely on the back outriggers, and you can rely on your outrigger pressures to know that you're going to go over. So... Put that into your psyche before you overlift. Am I going to ruin components? Am I going to ruin sheaves, ruin winch drums, snap booms if I overlift here? Or are my back outriggers just going to come up? Now, please, if anyone has opinions on this, put it in the comment section. Because I could be talking out my ass. That's what it just makes sense. Going off the facts of the operator's manual. All right? So the thick line in the charts, Dell's rigging and crane tips. Like this video, subscribe here, more to come. Hit me up if you've got a different opinion because it's all about learning and not guessing. 2020, not so yeah, yeah.